What's up, travelers? It's Christian Hicks coming to you from the Cineverse. I'm out here at the We Love Houston sign today. And it got me to thinking of the idea of service or how adding value to your customers allows you to set yourself apart from your competition. So, let's get right into it. So I wanted to get the We Love Houston sign to illustrate the point of how adding value is always preferable to service. Um, a lot of people ask, how can I set myself apart from the competition? And this is probably the simplest way to do so. And that's always thinking about how you can add a layer of value to your service. It doesn't matter what you're selling, there's always a layer of value you can add. That's where concepts like education marketing come in, where you could simply sell your product, or you could educate your clients about your product, or you could ed educate them about your service and give them some type of value outside of just purchasing your service. And once you do that, people are thinking about you when it comes time to purchase the service. So just like the We Love Houston sign, I'm pretty sure when he sculpted that, he wasn't thinking about just his renown or what value he could get. He was thinking about how can I add value to the city of Houston? And by adding the value to the city of Houston, he's created a landmark. He's created something that immediately recognizable that people can attribute to him. And that comes out of adding value or giving service. Now, on the way to the We Love Houston sign, I, I actually got lost. I didn't know how to get there because you can't really Google the We Love Houston sign. So I went to a restaurant and asked somebody, how do I find the We Love Houston sign? And one of the waiters came out, well, one of the guys behind the counter, he came out and he said, what are you looking for? So I told him what I was looking for. And he, he said, okay, I, I, it's around here somewhere. Let me Google it for you. Now, I didn't even come in here to purchase anything, but he took time out of his day without any promise of purchase or with any promise of gaining any value from me to add value to my life by Googling the We Love Houston sign. So he took time, it took him like two, three minutes, and he found a way for me to get to the We Love Houston sign. Now, by doing so, that compelled me to want to go back and actually purchase something from that location because of the value or the service he provided to my life. And that is the type of thing that allows you to set yourself apart from any of your competitors. Now, take another example. This weekend, me and my brother, we took our mother out for a Mother's Day uh, dinner and at this dinner we had a waiter and the waiter was excellent I mean he recommended things off the menu I mean everything was just the top level of service now one of the things we ran into at the restaurant was that they ran out of seafood a lot of the seafood dishes were not available because there was a conference this weekend and a lot of stuff had ran out and instead of just saying you know select something different off the menu he brings the manager out. The manager tells us, hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we don't have the seafood, we don't have the stuff you're looking for, you know, I, I apologize, this is just, this is usually doesn't happen, all this type of stuff. And we, we weren't upset, we were still having a great time. Now, because of this, he ended up comping all our sides, and at the end of the meal, without us even asking or even seeking it, they gave us free desserts and all this type of stuff, just to add value because we weren't able to get the things we originally ordered. Now, the, wait, the waiter was so good that my brother, he tipped him well, he tipped him exceptionally well. But the waiter began to talk about his passion for waiting, his passion for uh, service, and by doing so, he actually compelled my brother to tip him more because he was so caught up in the passion of his serving and his craft. Now, this only comes out of service, and this sets him apart that, so much so that every time we go to that restaurant, we ask for him. Now, this is the same thing with your business. Once your business becomes invaluable, or you add so much service or so much value to your customer, your client, or your product, your product becomes invaluable, and you set yourself apart in the marketplace. And by doing so, you'll never worry about if people will purchase your product. You'll never worry about your competition. You'll worry about, never worry about anything or any external factors but what you can do to add the most value to your customers. So I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope you begin adding value to your customers outside your product or service and create a massive gap between you and your competition. This has been Princeton and I'll see you next time.